So I ran across this campaign ad and, excuse me, beer for breakfast? No, not good. <laughs> Might have a problem, you think? No, it's Sunday and I have to fill out my taxes, so shh, shush you. So anyway, this, uh, this lady here, this, this, uh, I'm sure she's well qualified. She's a, you know, professor, doctor, whatever. Callie Renison is running for the Colorado University Regent District 2. So, I thought I might look at this a little bit. Because you see, it seems politicians they, oh, can you see me? <laughs> no, I hope not. I, I haven't done my hair and my makeup. It's just, it's awful. So it seems politicians bring up a lot of issues, for example. And they don't really give us a plan. You know? They come out and say, well, I'm against this. Vote for me. Well, most of the things they're against, everyone. <laughs> is against you, you see okay let's uh let's see what uh callie renison has to say i'm callie renison and i'm running for cu regent because it's, it's time to end bullying and sexual violence on campus so the question might be who is for bullying and sexual violence on campus uh no one <laughs> would be the short answer. So what, what's the plan? Dr. Renison, could you give us some details? What are you planning on doing to end bullying and sexual violence on campus? And I'm sure in her uh, campaign ad, she's going to tell us, right? I'm a criminology professor at CU with a focus on violent victimization. Yeah, well, let's... Yes, yeah, it sounds like you're well qualified to manage the problem of sexual violence on campus. So what are you going to do to handle the situation? Are you going to lay out a plan? Do you have a PowerPoint? Do you have a Microsoft project file with what you're going to do? I'm sure it's coming up. <laughs> this is personal for me because in 2016, 28% of CU Boulder undergraduates were victims of sexual assault. 28%? I thought it was almost 100%, Kelly. Are your numbers incorrect, are they? Sexual violence, well, <laughs> that's, that's bad. 28%, that's one out of four... Are your numbers uh, being taken from something that has been debunked a million times? Yes? 92% of them did not report it. So what are we going to do about that, Dr. Kelly? You see, that's the big elephant in the room, isn't it? For if a woman, uh, a young lady, who is a victim of grape doesn't report it to the police. How in the world do you think we can get justice for this young lady if she doesn't call the authorities to prosecute? <laughs> what are we going to do about that problem? Nothing? Oh, see, men just shouldn't do that. Well, you're right, they shouldn't. But uh, if they do, if we don't report it, Nothing is going to happen to the perpetrator. Or did you, uh, <laughs> you don't understand that? It, yes? And that's wrong. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Because if 92% of the victims of grape didn't report it to the police, well, that's a big problem. Wait a minute, though. 92%? of victims of assault didn't report it to the police. Huh. You know, one might think there might be a pretty big definition there of assault. Uh, you see, 
What you're trying to do, Dr. Kelly, is when you say assault, you expect us uh, plebeians, us rubes, us sheeple, to think that means grape. Don't you? Except it doesn't mean grape. Grape is a, an assault. But not all assaults are grape. So, if a woman, for example, or even a man, goes to a bar over in Boulder, Saturday night, everybody's drunk and having fun, and some person grabs their butt, well, dear, that is an assault. Now, how many people do you think are going to call the police because someone grabs them in the bum. Aha, uh -huh. yes, none. That would be zero. So, if 92% of assaults are not reported, it's because it's not that important. I would bet if we did a survey of women and men who have been graped, I would guess it's probably closer to 90% who call the police when that happens, but go on with your bullshit. Students should not live in fear when they're working to get an education. All right, let's think about this. Students should not live in fear. Who is for students living in fear? Who, who would be for, are you trying to imply, or am I inferring that uh, your opposition, the other two candidates are for this? <laughs> You're, you're, you're saying nothing that normal people don't believe in. So, again, help me understand why you're uh, the best candidate when you're not laying out the plan to fix it. They should not be afraid to come forward. Well, they shouldn't be, right. Yeah, that's right. Again, who, who disagrees? With, with that. As regent, I will fight to make sure students are safe and respected on campus. The implication being they're not safe and not respected on campus. Currently. Really, Dr. Kelly, are, are, you, are you certain? This, this, is, this is your campaign right here. I'm Kelly Renison and I would be honored to earn your vote. Well, you're, you're going to be lucky to earn my vote. How about that? Because you're not saying anything. Give, give me something. Give me some tangible plan. We're going to get rid of violence and, and assault on campus. We're going to make students feel safe. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. And blah, 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 blah. As if they're not now. And yet I see no plan. What's the plan of attack? Do, do you have any ideas except spewing a bunch of words? Dr. Renison, just, uh, just curious. Yeah, you're going to get my vote. Uh, never would be about right. James Maxwell, thank you for listening.